Magandang araw, Sir Wilbur po, at your service. Narito ang itulay upang gabayan ka sa inyong pag-aaral upang lubos na maunawaan ang iba't ibang paksa o subject. Ang itulay ay isang free online tutorial class na pinangungunahan ng ICTS Educational Technology Unit sa pumumuno ni Undersecretary Alain Del B. Pasqua. Ang programang ito ay hindi lamang para sa mga bata, kundi ito rin ay magsisilbing gabay sa mga magulang at mga guro kung paano nila ituturo o gagabayan sa bawat asignatura ang kanilang mga anak o mga estudyante. Sa kasalukuyan, ang self-learning module mula sa regyon ng Calabarzon at kilala sa tawag na pivot ang ginagamit sa ating itulay online class. Kaya ano pang hinihintay ninyo? Ihanda na ang inyong mga ballpen o lapis, papel o kwaderno at samahan kaming itulay ang pagkatuto para sa bawat batang Pilipino. Sama-sama tayong magtutulungan para malampasan ang mga hamon sa panahong ito. Halina't matuto, kasama ang inyong online tutor sa oras na ito. Yes, hello, good afternoon po ulit. Ah. Mag uh, grade 3 learners naman tayo ngayon para sa Mathematics 3 and welcome of course sa ating DepEd online tutorial ang itulay. And uh, bago ang lahat, ah, wag natin muna kali wag natin kalimutan para mas marami pa tayong maturuan na i-like at i-share ang ating mga Facebook pages, ang DepEd Philippines, DepEd um, EdTech Unit, DepEd um, TV at DepEd Tayo. Ganyan din pa subscribe tayo sa ating official YouTube channel, ang DepEd TV official ang DepEd um, Philippines at DepEd or Educational Technology Unit. At palambing na rin, napakilike at pakashare na rin ang aking personal page, ang Simply of Hill, ang Samal National High School Annex Official at DepEd TV One Bataan Production Team. So yon magandang magandang hapon sa lahat ng mga mag-aaral natin, great, especially sa ating grade 3 learners, sa ating mga magulang na, ka, na alam ko naman kaagapay ng ating mga students ngayong hapon na ito. And of course, sa mga kapwa natin educators sa buong Pilipinas, Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao. Ayun. Yan, sabi ni Gabriela Man Manila, good afternoon, watching from Cavite, GMA Cavite Bulihan Elementary School. Ganyan din, uh, binabati, batiin mo natin si Yulia Suarez, si Lord Jan Ray De Los Santos, si Kurt Aiden Adriano from San Nicolas Elementary School, Hagonoy West, and um, si Lord uh, Jan Ray naman from Don Enrique Bautista Elementary School. Nakita ko na rin kanina si Daisy Jewel Magbanwa Elementary School from Baliti Sur San Carlos Pangasinan Grade 3 and si Layana um Yana Rain Leonardo, Mayra Cabahar Cantong, si Carl Sander De Velos at sila Christopher Eliorin. Jericho Espedido at si Alisa Morandante. Magandang magandang hapon. So tara magsimula na tayo ng ating discussion this afternoon. So again, sabi ko nga we are on the quarter 3 Week 4 tayo ngayon at welcome nga tayo dito sa ating itulay session, ang DepEd Online Tutorial. So ang magiging paksa natin ngayong hapon ay tungkol sa pagpapakita o visualizing at pagbibigay ng magkatumbas or equivalent na fraction. So pag sabi natin magkatumbas or equivalent, ibig sabihin ito parehas or equal. Okay? So bago ang lahat, abatiin din natin good afternoon from my high district, my high elementary school. Ang, I forgot, nakalimutan ko si... Uh, Puerto Princesa, um, elementary school si KJ or Bisa of Diba, sila Mika Elut Elutin, uh, Doris um, Dorneo, ganyan sila Ramiel uh, Dakayana, Shirley Pagaduan, Paes, Christopher Elurin, a very uh, sane, uh, May Letigo, Melinda, Leia De La Cruz, at sila Jasmine Rian Gonzalez. Ayan, watching from Cabuyao, Laguna. Maganda hapon. So let us continue. Masalamatan muna natin of course ang ating um, reference ng ating module this afternoon, ang Pivot 4A at ito ang mga developers ng ating uh, module, ang kanilang um, module development team. Ayan. Hello po, watching from Bulao, Bulao, Elementary School Division of Cagende or City, si Elsa Tahun. Magandang hapon. Mabesa Lil Balbena, magandang hapon. So ang layunin natin ngayong araw na ito, ngayong hapong ito, ay ang matutunan ng pagtukoy uh, na mag, sa magkatumbas o equivalent fractions sa pamagitan ng mga modelo o gamit ang criss-cross method or products. So natandaan natin nung nakaraan, balikan lang natin, na pinag-aralan natin yung criss-cross products. So for example on this one, natandaan nyo ba yung paghahambing? 
'di ba? Itong letter A natin o larawang A natin ay nagpapakita ng 7 over 10 na fraction. Samantalang ang larawan B naman natin ay nagpapakita ng 3 over 4 na fraction. Um on that certain matter, 'di ba? Sinabi natin na for example, yung um yung bilang ng kulay or bilang ng bahagi na may kulay ay 7 sa 10 kahon. Sa letter B naman, ang bilang ng um, bahagi na may kulay ay 3 sa 4 na na kahon o sa apat na tatsulok I mean, ayun Hello po, Chutra Ville, sabi ni Alan Daen ayun, 3 for daw, sila Gabriela Manila, 7 over 10, Christopher Lurin at 7 over 10, tama rin ang inyong sagot, hello watching from Cavite City, si Mika Elotin, hello, magandang hapon so sabi natin ito ba, um, less than, greater than, or equal Para may pakita, meron dalawang paraan para mapakita natin kung less than, equal, or or um, greater than ang dalawang fraction. Pwede tayong gumamit ng division operation kung saan i-divide natin yung ating numerator by our denominator. From there, you will have 7 divided by 10 is equal to 0 0.7 at meron din tayong 3 divided by 4 is equal to 0 0.75. Mary Ann Rivera, maganda hapon. Chino Samonte, sila Carl Sander, may sagot na rin. Good Good day, I'm watching from Don Francisco Dizon, sila Guillermo and Doso, magandang hapon. So, ito ba ay greater than, equal, or less than? Ang 0.7 ay less than, correct. Tama ang sagot nila, KJ or Diba, sila Jasmine, nila Lord Rain, Christopher Lurie, nila Carl Sander De Velos. Kung ang sagot mo ay less than, ibig sabihin, you are correct. Very good, ang gagaling ah. Now, let's have another example. How about this one? Ang ating um, 4 over 4 at ang 10 over 10. Ang 4 over 4 po ba at 10 over 10 ay less than, greater than, or equal? Sabi ni Chino, equal. Jasmine, equal. Nilali, um, hey, yell, de la Cruz. KJ, Chino, and Jasmine. Equal ang anong sagot. Let us check. Both of them are equal to 1. 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1. And 10 divided by 10 is equal to 1. Therefore, 1 is equal to 1. So, 4 over 4 is equal to 10 over 10. Very good. Tama ang sagot na Lea de la Cruz. Watching from Llanera El Central School, Llanera La Vecilla. Hindi uh, ko na get nakuha agad yung name, ang dami nating um, comment. Um, Mikael Lutin, equal din kanyang sagot. Jericho Espedido, correct. Tama rin ang sagot. Let's try this one. 5 over 7, 3 over 4. I give you time to check whether this one is greater than, less than, or equal. You write your answer on our comment section. Let's check. Okay, let us check your answer. Sabi nila, Chino Simonte and Daisy G. Well, Magbanwa, greater than daw, sabi nila, ano, KJ. Let us check if this is greater than. We, we can apply the cross or the crisscross uh, multiplication. This one, we multiply 5 times 4 is 20, 7, 3, 7 times 3 is 21. So therefore, 5 over 7 is less than 3 over 4, correct? Glenda Olaco, watching from um, Rob, si Robby daw siya. I'm Robby, grade 3, watching from Las Piñas City. Maganda hapon, Robby. Let us try another one. 8 over 8 and 11 over 11. Johanna Rain A. Peralta, grade 3, Fusha. Maganda hapon. Again, using our crisscross product, let us check your answer on our comment section. Okay, let us check your answer. <clears throat> okay, so let us check.
Kaya natin mga sagot, ang sagot daw ay equal nila Neri, Dalusong, Kurt, uh, Adriano, nila Jasmine Gonzalez, Casey Bayo, um, ganun din ang sagot ni Carl Sander De Velos. Let us check your answer. If your answer is equal, therefore you are correct. Now, let us try our topic for this morning. Sabi, uh, this afternoon, I mean. Ang ating pag-usapan ngayong hapon ay tungkol sa, sabi ko nga, pagpapakita or visualizing ng mga equivalent fractions o ng mga equal fractions. Paano ba natin papakita yan? So for example, on this one, we have 4, ty- 4 over 5, imumultiply natin sa 3 over 3, which is equal to 12 divided by 15, it's, which means numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator, kaya nakuha naman yung 12 over 15. Okay? So tingnan natin. If this will be the given, yung 3 over 3 ba, ano ba ang katumbas nito? Ano ang katumbas sa fraction ng 3 divided by 3? Ang katumbas sa fraction ng 3 divided by 3 ay 1. So kung mababasin ninyo, ang 4 over 5 times 1, parang uh, it's the same as 4 over 5 Then, If you will notice, kapag na multiply mo sa same numerator and denominator ang isang fraction at nagbigay ito ng product, which is four, 12 over 15, ibig sabihin ang 4 over 5 is equal to 12 over 15 as well. Now, let us have another example. Ang 4 over 4 or 4 over 5, we multiply natin sa 4 times 4 or 4 over 4. So, that will give you 16 divided by 20. 4 times 4 is 16 and 4 times 5 or 5 times 4 is equal to 20. So, since we multiplied um, 4 over 5 by 4 over 4, which is equivalent to 1, meaning 4 over 5 is still equal to 16 over 20. That is correct. Let us check. How about 4 over 5 times 5 over 5? Good afternoon kay Nadine Ferrer at kila um, Daisy G. Well Magbanwa, Rich Ann Narag. 4 over 5 times 5 over 5 is equal to 20 over 25. Since ang 5 over 5 natin is still equivalent to 1, si katulad na sinabi ko kanina, sa paliwanag ko kanina, ang 4 over 5 natin is equal to 20 over 25. If you will notice now, in our first three given examples, grade 3 learners, but po fraction ulit, di ba po line segment? Fraction, uh, ano tayo, um, pag magkatumbas sa fraction average su sa in. Yan. So, we will have 4 over 5 is equal to 12 over 15, which is equal to 16 over 20, and which is equal to 20 over 25. Ayan. Pag-aralan nyo mabuti yan, ha? Nakuha natin yung 12 over 15 sa pag-multiply ng 4 over 5 sa 3 times, ah, uh, 3 over 3. Samantala, ang 16 over 20 ay nakuha naman natin sa pag-multiply ng 4 over 5 sa 4 divided by 4 or 4 over 4. Ang four ang 20 over 25 naman ay nakuha natin sa pag-multiply ng 4 over 5 sa ating 5 over 5. Oh, let us try another example. On this given, 3 over 4 times 3 over 3 is equal to 9 over 12. Nakuha niyo ba yung process? Good afternoon, Christina Del Rosario from San Antonio and Elementary School, SDO Parinaque. Ayun, nakuha naman daw nila yung process. O, saglit lang ha. Pag-aralan niyo mabuti muna yan at uh, uh, babalik ako saglit. Sobrang saglit lang to. Inom lang ang tubig. Thank you. Edina Smil is watching from Malolos. Okay, so 3 over 4 times 3 over 3 is equal to 9 over 12. And then, syempre, ang 3 over 3 um, times 4 over 4 is equal to 12 over 16. Numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. Okay. Ayan. So, nakabalik na ako. Ayan. And uh, good afternoon watching from Las Piñas City, Sir Robin Epumaseno, at sila KJ Odibas at si Hannah Kalimag. Ayan. So, 3 over 4 times 5 over 5 is equal to 15 over 20. So, basically, if you will notice, guys, yung mga uh, great three learners, I mean, yung mga um, example natin ay mag-equal-equal ulit. So, 
How are we going to do that? So for example, yung 15 over 20 natin or 3 over 4 natin is equal to 15 over 20. Same thing with um, 12 over 16 and um, 9 over 12. So sulat natin na. Pakita ko sa inyo. So 3 over 4 daw is equal to 9 over 12 is equal to 12 over 16 and also equal to 15 over 20. So, yan. So, yung 3 over 4 na is equal to 9 over 12, divide, uh, is equal to 12 over 16, and is equal to 15 over 20. How are we going to check kung talaga bang equal sila? So, we just simply multiply, we, we should simply use the cross multiplication, yung ating criss-cross multiplication. How are we going to do that? So, for example, yung ating 3 over 4, I, I multiply natin cross multiplication by 9 over 12 para malaman natin kung equivalent ba or equal ba yung ating 3 over 4 at 9 over 12. So we just simply have the criss cross multiplication. Sabi natin, good afternoon daw um, from the Davao City, si Guillermo and Doso. So enjoy watching daw sabi and learn more Johanna Rain Peralta. Maganda hapon. Okay, so we multiply here 3 times 12 and 4 times 9. So from there, susi pa ang kamagandang hapon din. So we will get 36 and 36. Ibig sabihin, yung 3 times 12 natin ay magiging 36 at yung 4 times 9 natin ay 36 din. From there, masabi natin na ang ating 3 over 4 ay equal sa ating 9 over 12. That is correct. Okay? Now, let's have another example. Yung 3 over 4, para maipakita natin if that is will be equal to uh, 12 over um, 16. Yung 3 over 4, para mapakita natin kung equal daw sa 12 over 16, we will use again the crisscross product. Good afternoon po. Aliana, Aliana Eason is watching from Vega Elementary School, Bungamon District. Marcus Bernabe Davira watching from Lubang Integrated School. And sila Sherry Bencito Sernat, Johanna Rin Peralta, and sila Hannah Kalimag. Shoutout po sa lahat ng Tagalubang Integrated School, sabi ng Marcus Bernabe Davira. And sila Mylene Adelaros Tirol and Adinte um, Ferrer. Ayan. So, ang 3 over 4 natin, para yung mapakita kung equal ba siya sa 12 over 16, we will use cross multiplication. Watching from Oslob, Sibus Alejandra Faustin Velarde. Maganda hapon. So, kapag i-cross multiply natin ang ating 4 over, ang ating 3 over 4 at 12 over 16, yung 3 times uh, 4, sorry, 3 times 16 natin at yung ating 4 times 12. What will be the answer? 48. Correct. Galing niya. Both of them will be equivalent to 48. That's why our 3 over 4 is equal to 9 over 12. Now, let's have another. Let us show our 3 over 4 kung equivalent ba siya sa ating 15 over 20. Sabi kanina nila, ano, nila Jasmine Ray, nila um, KJ, Carl Sander, Nadine, at nila Hay um, De La Cruz. Lee De La Cruz. Let us show and let us prove if 3 over 4 is equal to 15 over 20. Tingnan nga natin. So what are we going to do? We need to have our cross multiplication ulit. The crisscross multiplication. Sabi ni Lahana, 48 ang sagot. Joanna, 48 din ang sagot. Ano kaya ang sagot kapag kinuha natin ng crisscross or using the crisscross product from our given 3 over 4 is equal to 15 over 20? What will be the answer? Sabi ni Lord John Ray, equal po yan. Daisy G. G well, 48, yun yung sagot niya kanina. The answer will become, what is the product if we multiply 3 times 20 and 4 times 15? Sabi ni Alma Abungan, 60. Let us check the other answers. Ganyan yung sagot ni Kurt Aiden Adriano. Oh, let us check. Nila um, Carl Sander, nila KJ Odilas, 
uh, Odibas, Kurt, uh, Lord John Ray, Kurt Aiden, and Hannah Kalimag. If your answer is 60, you are correct. Very good. Tama, galing. Ngayon, let us try. What do you think will be the equivalent fraction if we will have 4 over 7 and multiply it by 3 over 3? What is the equivalent fraction of 4 over 7 if we will multiply it by 3 over 3? Ano po ang magiging sagot? Avery Susain, uh, 60 daw. Tama, MS Gerald Francisco, 60. Christopher Lurie, Nadine Ferrer, Rich and Narag. Ganyan din ang sagot nila. Jasmine Rian Gonzalez, Joanna Rain Peralta, Christopher Lurie, correct? Okay, what will be the answer on this one? 4 over 7 times 3 over 3. Write your answer in our comment section for us to check the equivalent fraction of this one. Wait lang ha, sandali lang. Okay, so what is the answer again on this given? 4 over 7 times 3 over 3. What will be the answer? Okay, if your answer is 12 over 21, you are correct. Very good. Lord Reigns de los Santos, sila Neri de Luzong, uh, sila... Uh, si po bang sumagot ng tama? Carl Sander De Velos, tama rin ang inyong mga sagot. Very good. Florian Escudero, at sila Jasmine Rian Gonzalez, Maylin, uh, Maylin Terol, at sila um, Rocky Castillo, tama rin ang inyong sagot. Now let's try to have another example. What if you will need to get the equivalent fraction for this one? We will multiply our um, 4 over 7, the given, kanina by 5 over 5. What will be the answer in 4 over 7 times 5 over 5? Tama ang mga sagot nila, Johanna Rin, Gabriela, Cecil Pangilinan. Correct. What will be the answer in this one? Carlita Cabrido, tama rin sagot. Grace J, tama rin. Sabi ni, ano, ni Lord John Ray, 20 over 35. Chino sa Monday, 20 over 35. Lord John Ray, uh, sa, ayun nga si Chino, 20 over 35. Ganun din sa kutin Ramiel Dacayana, 20 over 35. If your answer is 20 over 35, meaning you are correct. Very good. Tama, ang galing ha. Correct. Now let's have another example guys. Great three learners, what if naman we can we are about to get the equivalent fraction of uh, let's say three over five and we need we can have the equivalent fraction of three over five so we need to multiply it by two over two. What will be three over five times two over two to get its equivalent fraction? Sabi ni Marcos, 20 over 35. Correct. What's your answer on 3 over 5 times 2 over 2? The answer of Lord uh, January is 6 over 10. Ganyan din sa Gutichino sa Monte. KJ Odibas is uh, 6 over 10 then. AJ Gonzalez, uh, Rosana Patok, 6 over 10. Alma Abungan, 6 over 10. If your answer is 6 over 10, Yvonne um, Inyon, You are correct. Very good. Jasmine, correct. Avery and Grace J. Correct. Tama. That is 6 over 10. Now let us try this one. What if your answer is, or the 
you need to find out for the equivalent fraction of 3 over 5 times 4 over 4. What is the equivalent fraction of 3 over 5 times 4 over 4? Let's answer this one. 6 over 10 din sagot ng DCG. Well, magbanwa ni Cecil Pangilinan. So, ang sagot nila... Twelve over twenty ang sagot ni Chino Samonte. Ganyan ang sagot ni AJ Gonzalez, KJ Odibas, ni Bimbi Damian, ni Kathleen Favor, or Favor, Lord John Ray De Los Santos, 12 over 20. So if your answer is 12 over 20, you are, you are correct. Very good. That is 12 over 20. Therefore, 3 over 5 is equivalent to 12 over 20. So same thing goes with the other example. 3 over 5 is equivalent to 6 over 10. Let's have our last example. How about 1 half times 4 over 4? How about 1 half times 4 over 4? What's your answer? Edwin Smil, you are correct. Arlene Doria, you are correct. Um, Johanna Rin Peralta, you are correct. Gagaling ah. What is uh, 1 half over 4 over 4? 1 half times 4 over 4, I mean. Okay, so what is the answer? If your answer is 4 over 8, you are correct. Cecil, Nadine, Marisa, Magay, uh, Marisa Mendoza, Averis, uh, Cecil Pangilinan, Avery, Lord Jane, Mylene Amterol. Correct, that is correct. So therefore, if that is equivalent, guys, one half now is equal to... 4 over 8. So, ang ating 1 half is equivalent to 4 over 8. Okay. So, that is our topic for this afternoon na, mga... Um, that, that is our topic for for this afternoon. So, basically, guys, ha, ang pinag-usapan natin ngayon, grade 3 learners, ay tungkol sa ating um, equivalent fractions. And for you to get equivalent fractions, katulad nga na ginawa, or sinabi natin, or pinag aralan natin kanina, we just simply multiply it with the same numerator and denominator for us to get the equivalent fraction. Ayun na. So, ulitin natin na, magpapaalam muna sa Tutor of Hill for this afternoon para sa inyo mga grade 3 learners. Maraming maraming salamat sa pagtutok dito sa DepEd Online Tutorial. And standby tayo sa mag, para sa ating Math 4 kasama sa Tutor Mark. And do not forget to like and share ang ating mga Facebook pages, ang DepEd Philippines, DepEd at the Unit, DepEd TV, at DepEd, DepEd Tayo. And ganun din mag-subscribe tayo sa ating official YouTube channel, ang DepEd Philippines, DepEd... Um, DepEd TV at Educational Technology Unit. At palambing na rin tayo ha, palike and pasyag na rin po ang mga personal pages natin ng Simply of Hill, ang Samuel National High School Annex at DepEd TV One Bataan Production Team. Maraming salamat po muli sa inyong lahat at ingat po kayo palagi. Keep safe and keep sane. Bye-bye! Sigurado ako na marami ka na namang natutuhan sa ating itulay tutorial session ngayong araw. Tandaan, ito ay hindi lamang para sa ating mga mag-aaral, kundi pati rin sa ating mga minamahal na guro at mga magulang na kaagapay natin para maituloy ang pagkatuto sa kabila ng nararanasang pandemya. Patuloy ding sumubaybay sa DepEd TV para sa mga araling ginawang video episodes. Mapapanood ito mula lunes hanggang sabado, alas 7 ng umaga hanggang alas 7 ng gabi sa inyong mga telebisyon. Abangan sa lunes mula alauna ng tanghali ang iba pang aralin sa ating itulay free online tutorial session sa science. I-like and subscribe at manatiling nakasubaybay sa ating itulay tutorial session sa DepEd EdTech Unit FB page at Educational Technology Unit channel sa YouTube at sa DepEd Tayo at DepEd Philippines social media accounts. Paalam!